part two. Are you ready? Hot shots. Do you feel it? Pumpkin part two. <laughs> Pumpkin part two. <laughs> uh, it, the first yeah. part started off well. It's always promising. It's good. My tongue doesn't feel bludgeoned by <laughs> pumpkin and spices it's good well i don't know if you'll get bludgeoned by pumpkin and spices but we are definitely stepping up not only alcohol but uh in theory you know the the beers themselves we're gonna get a little bit more hopefully malty a little more of these other things because we're going imperial imperial Got time two imperials both from the same brewery cool both using pumpkin nice that's what we've got for part two of this give it a shot i'm andrew and i'm keith and we are about beverages.com part two of the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin beer fest, two thousand fourteen. Yeah, two thousand fourteen. So, here we are. So we're going to be uh, today about Southern Tier. Uh, is it Brewing Company? Is it? Uh, no, so, no, yes, sure. Okay. Southern Southern Tier Brewing Company, and I'm um, assuming we will start with their uh, Pump King, which is an Imperial Ale uh, brewed with pumpkins, and then we've also got a uh, Imperial Stout. The also warlock. brewed with pumpkin and natural flavors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They pumpkin both. Pumpkin and the warlock. I had never seen them before, so I'm assuming because uh, they're out of New York. Right? Yes, Lake, 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 Lakewood, New York. Okay, so they're out of New York. So I had never seen them before. Saw them at Total Wine about a month ago. Uh, I didn't even know I was already getting ready to purchase pumpkin <laughs> beers, but they were there, so I made sure to get them. Uh, they're both around around seven, eight dollars for the bomber. Okay. Like I said, so you know, kind of the. Mid- mid-tier bomber and they both pricing. check in at 8.6 uh, percent yeah. alcohol so which is what you would expect from an imperial yeah so yeah you definitely are expecting a little bit more alcohol hopefully we've yeah. got i think everything now from here on out is some sort of imperial the one next the two next week which will be our returning champion the pugsley and uh the other one from the other brewery is also an imperial and the bottle is huge too <laughs> <laughs> that bottle is almost like two bottles <laughs> I think the cap here is really kind of cool too. I was just noticing that. That's it's pretty. It looks like actually it looks like grain. There's like wheat and a hop cone. Yeah. And oh, I wonder. Do you think? Do you think the star means it's kosher? I wonder because that does look like the that's the star it. of David, right? It does look like that. And then like so the little the glass and then like I think that that kind of looks like the paddle that they use inside like of a, a mash ton or something like that. But anyway, I think that's that's, that's really that's yeah. very creative for a cap. You usually don't see that much. Yeah, because the, the magic hat last week, that just made us dizzy. Yeah, that made me the dizzy. The spiral swirl it on top. It did make me dizzy. And all of these beers, as I keep mentioning, they will be at some point compared compared to the champion. Correct. We will kind of, and it's, and it's all about, as we decided last year, it's about best use of pumpkin, because we know we've got a different style here. We've got a stout, so you right. can't really compare a stout and, you know, like these other things, even if it's just a regular imperial or IPA-ish type thing. So it's best use of pumpkin, and then hopefully the spices are blended in there. It's just the one that we'd like to drink. That Which would one? Buy, would, yeah, we would go I'd back buy to. another one of these. This yeah. is the one people that think pumpkin beers are a joke, which they kind of were when we started. I don't think it, and some of us still think that way. <laughs> uh, when we started, like I said, but it's kind of at that point where if someone's like, oh, pump, and you would feel confident saying like, this is the one you should try. If you don't like this, then you do not like pumpkin beers. You know, because I actually, there was a great conversation I had at work the other day. Quick tangent. Someone was talking about, yeah, I just don't like beer. I don't like beer. This woman that we work with, I don't like beer. Oh, well, I had Blue Moon the other day, and it's just, it's just like sour. And I'm like, <laughs> I said, you can't say you don't like something. I said, this is my thing. Like, I don't like to say that I dislike something if I haven't had what is either near the best or like one of the best of that thing, whether it's a beer or a food, like if I say, Oh yeah, I don't like, you know, I don't like scallops. They're just good. Well, have you ever had them prepared just right the way they should be? And like, you know, not like it's right. a dive bar down the street and I had a scallop and it was chewy and disgusting. It's like, did you have it made the way it should be made? And then you didn't like it. Then that's fine. Right. If you didn't like it. But if I don't like, I don't like beer. Well, I had this one thing out of a Michelob can and it was, well, half, and that's good then. Warm. That's actually a good sign. Yeah, if somebody if says like that. that. Exactly. Because right. Okay. Uh, well, we understand that. Yeah. Let's, I would hate that. Too. Let's start you off on the right path. Exactly. And I think that that's kind of the key. So it's like, yeah. feel confident having the better one. Well, we stayed light again, but this one's a little more toward the golden. Yeah. A little cloudy, too. This reminds me of like uh, like an Enjoy Buy. That sort of uh, orangey gold yeah. kind of color. A little, yeah, a little, with a little Maybe bit like of a notch lighter, but yeah, very yeah. similar. I would yeah, agree. something like that. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Still staying with the lighter carbonation theme, too. Yeah. I love this. And maybe the pumpkin uh, maybe just everyone hurts. robs the carbonation. It could. Robs it. No. This one's probably got the most of what we've seen this year. Yeah, because I was able to resuscitate that a little bit there. Ooh. Ooh. 
That smells fantastic. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I, didn't, I wanted to. Wow. I could barely hold my, hold back. That's, but you know what? The, to me, the, that's like delicious flaky crust. Exactly. That's what that is. Buttery crust. Oh man, it's buttery crust. Oh, wow! Isn't that great? And then there's a little bit of spice in it. There's definitely some some nutmeg. I think maybe comes to the yeah. forefront in this one. <laughs> wow! Doesn't that smell really good? <laughs> that Come that on. smell really good. That smells no, really that's, good. That's good. I already feel like there may be some competition. Uh, well, at least from the aroma in this. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. Do you think it'll be in the taste? I don't know. It's got a lot to live up to. Let's find out. Now I haven't been at Arbuckle in a while. I'd like to. You'd I, like I, to. I offered you my service. You have offered to. And you yeah. can ask me uh, if you need me. Hey, do you want to? Co- oh, yeah. Just uh, that reminds me of vanilla nut. Uh, there's a little bit. Of, there's definitely some vanilla coming. Yeah, that, 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 the so. old the flavoring uh-huh. we used to use for coffee yeah, with no, totally. the uh, flavor uh, extract. I'd agree so with that. I. That's intriguing, but that's not what I smelled though. No, it, it misses out just a little bit there. But now that I go that. back, I'm like, okay, maybe that deliciousness that I thought, you now it does become a little nuttier. It is. I am getting a little more nutty, almost like hazelnut something, because vanilla, vanilla, right, yeah. the vanilla nut, like I said, that kind of aromatic. I would agree. I get a little more, yeah, nutty. They're almost, there's a little heat kind of in the middle of my tongue when I have it too, so I don't know if there's, yeah, so what, you know, what exactly the spice blend is in there if they go into extreme... Uh, information as I kind of look. I know they had some information, a fair amount of information. We'll have a link to that at aboutbeverages.com to their site. Uh, oh, uh, pumpkin pie spices, and they actually m- do mention vanilla on here. So okay. you're picking up on the vanilla nut then, too. And that could be like a vanilla sort of nutmeg combo going on there. Um, it's uh, it, it hits you a little bit on the back of the tongue. That stays. Not, I mean, yeah. That, that would probably, especially, and that's not surprising with an Imperial, because no. it's heavier, it's got more alcohol. So. It does remind me when I've had other beers that have used hazelnut. Like the the Rogue does that hazelnut brown, which I do like, but that's one that can get kind of strong, and it kind of leaves me with a similar type feeling, mouthfeel yeah. kind of thing, too. So, yeah. Yeah, that is amazing. Once you've had it to sip, like now I go back to the room, I'm like, oh, yeah, that is kind of more what it's, I was Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of nutty. Yeah, it's a, a lot of nutty. a lot of flavors going on in that one. A lot of flavors. Yeah. I think I don't really get a lot of pumpkin though. I it, no no. I don't get like that depth of flavor from pumpkin. It's missing out on a little bit of that. I'm getting. Uh, it, it's inter- This is going to sound strange. It's they're fairly balanced flavors, but their balanced flavors turned up to nine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. A yeah. Mid- it's not a middling ground where everything blends together. It's like. Yeah, here's here's this balance, and now we're gonna double the recipe and add all these extra. You know, like I said, so it's like and we've a balance of a high amount of flavors. If that makes sense, we've sort of reassessed uh, our situation. I mean, what we what we got, we really got strong to begin with. Now we're sort of like, okay, we we were slightly off. It was probably right. n- nut in there, but yeah, that that just that does jump right out at you. But well, it's definitely some... promising. I like I like what they're doing. Yeah, there. I'd like I a mean, little more pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, I would too, and probably a little, just yeah. Which is so funny. I bet people are probably screaming right now at, at uh, YouTube, which is kind of sad because we can't hear you. <laughs> but uh, you know, you, they're, they're probably going, yeah. "What does pumpkin taste like?" It does. It, it does. It actually does oh, yeah. have a body. It has a mouth feel to it. Yeah. When it's done right, there is. The, I mean, squash. Yeah. It has a flavor. There is yeah. a, something. It's not like it's, and it blends it's, well with the spices. Correct. But yeah. it. But the but it the adds, pumpkin is a base. It's a nice base that makes too. everything kind of blend together better. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, now I'm very excited. This one I was super excited about because I love it when they do different things. Like I said, Keith mentioned on the previous podcast, which uh, if you didn't watch the one just from last week, go back and watch that. We tried a couple other beers, but we were talking about that. Yeah, my friend Jason and I that home brew, we actually did. We do do a pumpkin doo doo. We do a pumpkin porter. That like I said, so I like that it's difference very where good. it's not you're not just going for that lighter kind of beer. And so they've this this brewery has taken it up another notch and they've gone to a stout. So I am super fascinated by what this is going to taste if like. If you are in Tucson and you actually know Be- <laughs> yeah. Andrew or one of us and are interested in that, we should uh, actually get you one to try because it's I when, when you brew them. Really I would good. do that. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be brewing that soon. Actually, no, not quite yet. Well, maybe. Depending on when this airs, we may have brewed some. Hopefully. Nice. But yeah, I like it Like so when people kind of try something different. Like I so said, the, the, we had the fermentation of that representation last year. That was a porter. I believe we actually had two porters last year that were pumpkin. Yeah, beers. the out of so, your gourd, right? Out of your, out gourd, of your gourd, which I've seen Hook. again already, and then uh, yeah. yeah, the well, yeah, the fermentation with that representation. That was a, and that was actually an article I read on Zeit. They were talking about the like 
15 greatest beer names and that was one of them so it is pretty good yeah, it was that was a good name that was a good name this is probably the most carbonation we've seen or at least the head yeah wise. yeah nice nice head retention light a little bit of nice uh, it's kind of that like beige mm-hmm. kind of colored head which is nice can't see through that oh, it's a little ruby a little on the outside yeah. right ruby brownish a little ruby brown it's almost probably like guinness colored you know what i mean where that's kind of got yeah. a little ruby ruby to it a little bit lighter than that yeah it's lighter than that but yeah i know what you're saying I read something the other day that actually said that you'll get different senses from each side of yeah, your nose. I've, I've seen the way it comes too. in, because you know you'll have your passageways are open in different ways in different sides of your brain. The way the receptors and everything like that, you'll get. I think you'll get different things. So they actually say to do let you know one side, the other side, and then both. I think that's what I where I first saw that was. I think Gary Vaynerchuk doing that. Oh, okay. I think not that he was the first, but that's where I first yeah. saw. Yeah. Uh, have you? Yeah. No. Go ahead. The vanilla nut. Yeah, it's in it's there, there again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I'm right now. I was kind of hoping for a little smoky, roasty to come out. Though, Something, too. I'm not yeah. Get, are I you did. getting anything else? No, I get. I, maybe I get a little the chocolate nut, in there, and then maybe like a little dark chocolate something at the very yeah, back. There's something there that something. weighs it down. There's, there's something. A, there's a very light stout quality, but unfortunately, it's kind of being over. It's being. It's being repressed. Yeah, it comes <laughs> the exploitation I've been of the workers. <laughs> <laughs> Monty Python reference. Uh, it's kind of being pushed down a little bit by that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, like whereas the the previous one that just like was wow. Yeah, this is like wow. I mean, it's there. Wow, you know it's there. But but it's you're not getting the other thing with it. Like I I don't think I'm I don't think I I'm getting a little less spice. But it's not like I'm getting a little less spice and ooh roasty chocolatey stout. Yeah, that is also repressed. So there's my, a little like yeah. Said, no, there's a it. little something else there. Yeah. But yeah, it uh, it's it's just mostly that uh, that vanilla nutty quality, which could be vanilla nutmeg. Who knows. <laughs> See, I like the way that marries with this. I still don't know if I consider it pumpkin, though. Why is that? Go ahead. Because I don't get pumpkin. Well, you're probably going to lose I know, some it's of dark. that. No, I know, but we didn't get it in that one either. So True. Um, but I like that. I like that. It almost rem- I remember, um, what was it? The Fade to Black, the volume one, was that mm. vanilla nut yeah. quality. What was that? Waffle cone. Waffle cone, yeah. I remember when, when we do this. It means waffle, waffle cone. That's a, <laughs> that, was, that was one of your things. I, it it's weird. Like it almost, it's almost this beer with just some dark malts in it. Because even the the beginning of it is very similar. Like I don't get anything like extra heavy per se. Um, it hits my tongue in the exact same spot. That little like heat that I was kind of talking about earlier seems to be there from either the nuttiness quality or whatever else, and then on the finish is finally where I get it where it says, "Hey, I'm a stout." Little yeah, bit. there's a little, little, little bit, little chocolate, a yeah, little, little chocolate, little roasty, little chocolate. But at the very end, it's kind of a it's a whisper. I actually like that. I like this one better. I like this better than this one. Yes, because that whatever that that this blend is, of spices yeah. or that blend of flavorings or. Marries better with this uh, base, with this beer recipe. Yeah, the, at least the darker malts that are in here kind of pull that back a little bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, the rest of it doesn't come forward a little more too. It just more kind of brings that back. I like the spice blend that's in here, but for some reason, it seems overdone, almost to like an extract kind of thing. Well, that's what, you know what I mean. Think of the, that's why I, I pictured you know spraying the beans at our yeah. buckle. and and when, especially if the beans are a little bit warm still, there that yeah. initial those there vapors were, come off. There would and be a little that's, bit. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Well, there's always that so. point, like with anything, it's like. This is good. Ooh, that's even better. Oh, now you've done too. You've much. gone too far. And yeah. that's I kind of almost feel that caffeine way a is little good. Bit this one. This is a. Oh, now I've had too much caffeine. Right, and like I <clears> said, <throat> even with you know with extracts where it's like, if we get that where people will request like, oh, I want more flavoring, more. Fl-. And it's like there's a point where it's like, yeah, more flavoring. Now it's going to taste like a chemical. Right. You know, like I said, there's a point where it's like, wow, this is really good. This is you know natural flavor. You know, even the natural yeah. ones that we get, <clears throat> this is really good. Oh, well, now that just t- you know like stevia or anything. You know, people yeah. love using that, and it's like. Yeah, after a little bit, okay, now it tastes fake. Is this an artificial sweetener? Yeah. It's like, no, this is actually natural, but yeah. you're using so much. You've used too much. So, Well, this was definitely another great couple of beers. I'm very happy that we got to try these. Uh, this one we're going to have to remember into next week because next week we've got one new beer. 
and then we've got the returning champion. And the so return that's of the Mac. All things will be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the return of the one-hit wonder. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, we've got the return... We'll have the returning champion, which uh, will be very interesting to see how that winds up playing out and see if uh, they can make a three-peat. If they can go Chicago Bulls and do the three-peat. Be a challenge. Three years in a row. Yes. I'm very excited. But, and you can find the tasting notes, which I always forget to mention. Now. I'm just so into the pumpkin beers. Okay. Tasting notes at the website, aboutbeverages.com, along with uh, where these are, all of these beers are hitting on a recommendation scale. We do uh, put that out as well. And like I said, then next week we will have, have the champion, the grandmaster. So return to us. And we will. That's, that's, never mind. Forget it. I don't have anything. I got <laughs> nothing. N- I got nothing. You know what you got? <laughs> nothing. Whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>